Hi everyone, Sat here. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna get AR Core AR Foundation working as quickly as possible. So it's under 10 minutes, you will have an AR Foundation app uh, from scratch as well, adding all the scripts and stuff. And the last tutorial I did was a little too long. So I just wanted to quickly show you how quickly you can get it done. So anytime you wanna do an AR Foundation you, uh, project, you know it only really takes 10 minutes. Uh, obviously you can just copy and paste the uh, the scripts and uh, that's not a big deal really. Um, okay, so uh, if you want this project folder, again, I'll attach this uh, to the main course that I have, uh, but you can, uh, these scripts are all really available online anyway, um, pro on previous tutorials and as well as on, as part of AR Foundation, so everyone really can have access to this. This is just about showing you how quickly you can get up and running. All right, enjoy the video and I will update this in a very, very, very soon with a scaling tutorial as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to first of all switch to switch my platform to Android. Now I am going to go to Window and Package Manager. And then I'm going to bring in some AR Foundation by going on All and hitting Foundation, AR Foundation. Check the version 19. I'm happy with that. Hit Install and also get the AR Foundation AR Core XR plugin as well. And last but not least, I'm gonna grab the AR Kit one anyway. I just like getting it. And let's close this and let's set up our scene. So I'm going to make a couple of empty game objects and just call these by what we need. So this is gonna be AR Session and I create another one and I'm going to call this one AR Session Origin and then I'm going to also put one in here put the camera inside of this and I think we have got enough to get started really and get I'm just going to get rid of this cam this directional light as well because we're not using light estimation in this particular in this particular scene so let's go ahead and go to the AR session origin and let's add some of those key things that we need so we need a AR session origin on here we need the AR plane manager on here. We need the AR point cloud manager. We don't really need that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and add it anyway. I'm going to put on the IR reference point manager as well. And then I'm going to drag my main camera onto here. These I will allow them to be automatically created at runtime. So I'm going to go to our AR session as well now and I'm going to add in the AR session here. Uh, leave light estimation off because we don't need that. I'm going to go to my camera now as well and I'm going to just have a look at some of these settings. They we need now is the tracked pose driver and we need to make sure we remember to change this pose source to um, color camera has to have to remember that's really important and then we want to also add in our camera background script so we can actually um, see more than just this unity world and then let's add our final script to here called place on plane create create and add it so now that now that's opened up let's paste this code in so you can see it's just the standard one that you have where you get a game object and then on the first touch on a trackable surface it instantiates the object and places it there and then every touch on from that point onwards it just moves that object there and there's a couple of lines that I've commented out which I'll look at later on and some of those I've just been playing around with but you'll, you'll see the difference uh, as this progresses in future tutorials 
And the only thing we need to do now, script wise, is change this place. Well, add a prefab to this. So I'm going to go to create empty and I'm going to put call this AR placer. And then inside of this, <clears throat> I'm going to create a 3D object. I'm going to make that a cube. And I'm going to change the values of this cube to be uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05 and then just increase the uh, position of it, uh, the wire position of it to be half the height of the object so that it sits inside the AR pla placer nicely for when we, when we place it going forwards. And that's basically all we need. Let's actually turn this into a prefab and then delete this. And then let's put this in here. Now, I believe that's everything. I hopefully I haven't missed anything. And what I'm going to do now is we can't actually build this immediately to our phone, unfortunately, because we have to change some of these build settings, if you remember. So let's go to player settings and then let's look at some of these. I'm bound to get this wrong, but let's see if I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, so other settings, multi-threaded rendering definitely needs to be off. I need to change this. So let's do com. Don't put my name, and I'm going to put quick, quick build like that. And then I'm also going to change this from Android 4.1 to Android 8.0. Um, scroll down, and I never remember which one it is that needs switches. I think it's not X86, and I believe that's everything have i missed something someone i'm sure is screaming at the uh, screaming at me saying you've missed this you missed this but let's see um i've made sure the sample scene is here as well i'm going to go ahead and hit build and run and see if i can build this on my phone now and i will need to actually also put this in a place so let's do let's just call this app quick build Okay, so we just want to hit allow and so we can use our camera during the AR foundation floor. Uh, now you can see actually I'm scanning the floor. There's no point cloud, so that might be because I didn't fill in the prefab and there's no ground appearing. So I'm just tapping, <laughs> hoping that I can find the floor uh, once it's once it's this once it's discovered it, uh, which it will do eventually. Um, there you go. So now the cube's there, and wherever I, I move my finger, the cube moves to that position. And that is like the most basic AR foundation you can have. I keep my finger on it, obviously it follows it around. And that's that's it. That's the quickest AR foundation you, uh, app you can get up and running on your phone for uh, for either AR kit or AR uh, core. All right, that was it. That that worked. Um, I mean, if you we didn't have visually, we couldn't see the plane prefab and the point, point cloud prefab. Uh, but if we wanted to do that, we could do uh, click right click or maybe even possibly go to game object here. Yeah, that works as well. XR and then go to AR default plane cloud and then XR default plane and then drag those both into here like so. Also delete them. And then put the point plane one in the AR plane manager and the cloud manager one, the cloud one needs to go in that one. And now we can leave the a point manager <coughs> reference one plane as well. But now we'll get that yellow floor and the yellow kind of point clouds that you usually see. And that's it really. And I will expand on this in the next tutorial.